understanding your test results and monitoring your kidney function. Erythropoietin or EPO. This is a hormone that is produced by the kidneys which controls the production of red blood cells. This hormone will begin to decrease as kidney disease progresses. Anemia is the main concern from this. Iron levels. Anemia is a common factor in kidney disease and can be assessed as part of a standard blood test. Anemia occurs for several reasons, but in this case, a lack of available iron. Serum iron. This measures the amount of iron that is circulating in the blood, or in simpler terms this is the measurement of iron in the blood, as opposed to that which is stored. The Australian reference range for iron is 5 to 30 micromoles per liter and the US reference range is 60 to 170 mcg per deciliter. Transferrin is a plasma protein or blood protein that is required for stored iron to be transported around the body. The transferrin level helps to analyze the form of anemia you may have. If transferrin is low, then the capacity to produce hemoglobin will be reduced, which leads to anemia. In the case of kidney disease, excess transferrin can be removed into the urine, causing a low count. The Australian reference for transferrin is 18 to 33 micromoles per liter and the US reference range is 204 to 360 milligrams per deciliter. Transferrin saturation. This measures the ratio of serum iron and total iron binding capacity, which is the capacity of the blood to bind iron to transferrin. In iron deficiency anemia, the transferrin saturation will be low but it can be normal in anemia seen with chronic disease. The reference range for transferrin saturation is 10 to 45%. Ferritin is a protein that stores iron in a non-toxic form in the cells, so that it can be released and delivered to where it is required. The Australian reference range for ferritin is 15 to 165 micrograms per liter and the US reference range is 12 to 300 nanograms per liter. Levels are usually higher in males, making the reference range higher. Natural Health Tips If your EPO is very low your doctor is likely to give you EPO injections. You will need to get advice as to how much iron to take daily, as this will greatly depend upon your iron storage or ferritin. It is important to take vitamin C at the same time to enhance iron absorption. Supplementation is essential if deficient. But iron is also found in fish, egg yolk, dried fruit, beetroot, parsley and dark green leafy vegetables. You need the correct level of stomach acid to absorb iron so you may need to take a stomach acid tablet at the same time to enhance absorption. Urinalysis. This is a simple spot urine test that measures several markers of kidney dysfunction. This test can measure the pH of your urine. Plus pick up levels of albumin, glucose, ketones, blood and bilirubin. This is a very generalized test and is not a clear assessment of the level of kidney damage. However, if any levels are out of range, it does indicate the necessity for further investigation. A 24-hour urine specimen will give a more accurate indication of the level of kidney dysfunction by measuring creatinine, urea, and nitrogen. As you can see, when broken down it is easier to understand what different kidney test results mean, and it is simple to use natural therapies to improve all aspects of kidney damage. It is recommended that when you are treating kidney disease with natural therapies, you should get your tests redone, about every 12 weeks to track your progress. It is important to remember that there is no magic instant cure, but when used appropriately, over time natural therapies can make an outstanding improvement that can easily be seen in your lab results. Note. A kidney diet can be a complex thing to juggle. If you require extra support you can find a complete step-by-step -step program for reversing kidney disease. Simply click the link on the description below this video to watch some personal story of kidney health improvement that you will surely find inspiring. There are many natural therapies available. Combined with appropriate dietary and lifestyle changes, you can both reverse kidney damage and protect from further damage to your kidneys in the future. Get an effective step-by-step -step program proven to start healing your kidneys today 
by Duncan Cappuccino, N.D., a fully qualified naturopath, author, and medical researcher specializing in kidney disease. Take action by clicking the link below. You'd be surprised how well this works. If you're ready to take action, click on the link below this video now.